For Western Canadians nearing the age of 55, you are likely facing one of the most important decisions as it relates to your wealth, well-being, and legacy through retirement. And without proper planning, you could leave behind a large portion of your hard-earned pension by simply choosing the wrong option. Let me explain. Taking information directly from Statistics Canada, we can see that the average age of retirees is just under 64 in 2018. And life expectancy in Canada for males is 80 and 84 for females. But specifically for Canadians right now, only 7.3% are between the ages of 75 to 79, 4.3% are between ages of 80 to 84, and 2.2% are between the ages of 85 to 89. And most importantly, only 1.1% of Canadians right now are 90 years or older. So why is this important? This means that most people work four years past their early retirement date, and in doing so, spend four years of their 20 year retirement working. What will this cost you? Stick with me till the end and we'll show you. Now let's dig a little deeper. There's a few pieces of information we need to put together. One is there are two common types of pension plans in Canada. And this is important to know as this is how your pension is built and administered through your career and possibly retirement. The first type is what's called a defined benefit pension plan. The other type is a defined contribution plan. Two, the second piece of information is how your contributions are made. Next is how your pension contributions are managed throughout your career. Now, here are a few examples of how this money is invested. One being from the ATRF, which is the Alberta Teachers Retirement Fund, and the other being LAPP here in Alberta. And lastly, when you're nearing retirement, it's time to start thinking about the options for taking your pension income. Of the eight options you have to choose from, yes, eight, but I'll get into that later, the most common option is the joint equal option. This also leads to the largest decrease in annual payment, by the way. Now, the last option, which we call option eight, is taking the commuted value of your pension. This option is often missed or even ignored when planning for your retirement. Some pension plans even have deadlines to exercise this option, like the ATRF by the age of 55. Using an example for teachers in Alberta, we find that in this example, this teacher would accumulate $970,000 over a 26 year career and receive a reduced pension of around $40,000. Or we have this example from Nova Chemicals, which is a defined benefit plan where they accumulated $1.17 million and would receive a reduced pension of around $55,000 a year. So where is the problem? Let's talk withdrawal rates. The withdrawal rate is the percentage of your portfolio that you withdraw every year as income to pay yourself in retirement. A safe withdrawal rate is supposed to be the amount you can spend each year without ever worrying about running out of money. What would the withdrawal rate be for the example we just talked about? Roughly 4%. So my question to you is this. If your pension could get a return of 4% every year, would that money ever run out? The answer is no. And remember from earlier, where's the other 4% of return going? So here's the problem when we put this all together. At the age of 55, after paying into a pension for your whole career, you need to make a decision that will affect your finances for the next 20 years or more if you're average. If you don't know what all your options are or the potential result of each option, making the best decision for you and your family when the time comes can be very difficult, maybe even impossible. This can lead to an irreversible loss of wealth, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, all because you weren't ready. We think that's a big problem. So my question is this, wouldn't you want to be ready? Wouldn't you want to retire earlier? Wouldn't you want to live a better and more flexible retirement or ensure that your wealth will pass on to your kids or create a legacy for your community? We think so. When we take our clients through this process, they usually feel ready to retire often earlier than they anticipated have a full understanding of what their pension options actually mean by the age of 55. They know exactly what their income potential is during retirement. They never run out of money ever, 
and most importantly answer this question. What if something happens to me? Where does the money go? Our only goal is to help as many people as possible navigate their way through this process and in doing so maximize their hard-earned pensions. So stay with me and we're going to show you how we solve this problem. I'm Patrick Callan, Investment Advisor of Callan Wealth Management. I'm a Chartered Investment Manager who spent the last 10 years helping clients in financial services. Over the past five years, we've built an investment practice specializing in helping families in Western Canada prepare for retirement by building and assuming the management of their own pensions. We do our best work for those who work with large pension plans, those who are self-employed and their families. And a great example of this are education professionals like teachers and administrators. Now, this wasn't intentional in the beginning, but being a product of the Central Alberta education system and being a local youth football coach, we spend a lot of time with teachers, administrators, professors, superintendents, and their families. Now, the reason we're able to grow like this is because almost two thirds of Canadians don't use financial planners, mainly because they feel their portfolios are too small. 40% feel they don't have their financial future under control, while 30% admit they're overwhelmed with their financial options. But I mean, how could you not be? Also, investors who receive advice build more savings over time. The research tells us that advised investors have an average almost four times more assets after 15 years than a similar investor without advice. But all that aside, in the past year, we set out to understand our clients on a deeper level. And believe me, we heard you loud and clear. From our conversations, we developed what we call our wealth playbook so that we can serve our clients better. That's the football coach and me coming out. So in the playbook, we focus on helping you choose the right retirement option for you and your family, project and secure your retirement income so you never run out, make your wealth flexible so you can live your best retirement and see that your wealth will not disappear if something were to happen to you. Both so again, what is the real problem? When you don't know all of your options or the potential result of each option, making the best decision for you and your family can be very difficult, maybe even impossible. Now we're gonna show you how to use part of our playbook to help explore these options and how they may work for you. Hi everybody, Patrick Callan here. And today we're gonna to take you through part of our wealth playbook with the hopes of trying to help you understand what all of your pension options are and what they actually mean. And uh, for us, a big win is if we can get our clients to retire earlier and more comfortably, preferably for the age of 64. As we said earlier, that's the average um, age Canadians retire. So that would be a big win for us. Now, when we do our planning for our clients, we focus on a couple different stages of age. Um, for today, because we're doing a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to projecting out retirement incomes we're going to focus on the ages 50 to 55 which is what we call our pension runway or our pregame so that's the age we're going to focus on today and uh, hopefully you understand what all your options are when we're done so getting started there's a couple pieces of information that we have to uh, put together to, to get a clear picture of what's going on and most of it can be found in your pension statement or online with your pension provider. So the first piece of information is actually the, uh, the value of your pension today. Okay. Now when you open up your statement that's going to show in there quite, que quite clearly um, how much is in there. The second piece of information is actually how your pension income is paid to you in retirement if you choose to, to, to enter retirement. And this can depend on a couple different factors. The first being your type of pension plan, either defined benefit or defined contribution, plus um, the, the formula that they use to actually uh, calculate out your income that is gonna be paid to you. And it's usually based on a factor of your years of service, um, your age, and your highest earnings. So that can all be found in the same place, but it will be shown in your statement and we have that piece of information. So your pension income is the second piece of information. And the third piece is probably the most important piece is, are there any restrictions to you for entering into retirement or taking your pension income? 
And examples of this can be age. For example, if you enter retirement early, as in before you reach your, um, what they call your 85 factor, which is your age plus your years of service. If you are before that, then your pension will actually be reduced usually by a percentage if you enter early. Um, the minimum age you're allowed to enter, usually it's 55 that you're allowed to look at early retirement. Or in the um, example of Alberta teachers, if you are looking to exercise option eight, which we'll talk about later, you actually have to do it by the age of 55. So there is a unique restriction there as well. So with these restrictions in mind, we know exactly what we're dealing with when it comes to entering retirement. Okay, so with these three pieces of information, we can actually start to project out and compare scenarios. So what's the next step? The next step is to actually look at your options and understand what they actually are. So on the board here, we already have them written down. These are some standard options that are usually available to people when it comes to choosing their pension income. And over here we have um, your single options. So this would be if you do not have a spouse or a pension partner, these options would apply to you. And basically what they mean is that there is a guaranteed amount of time that your pension income will be paid to your beneficiary after you pass away as a single pensioner. So what this means is exactly what it looks like. No guarantee means if you pass away, your pension income stops. A five year, a 10 year, and a 15 year. Very straightforward. The thing to, to note is that as you go down this scale, your pension income it actually decreases to you. And that's because they have to build in a, a margin of safety to fund these liabilities over a longer period of time. Now down here, we have our joint options, which are if you have a spouse or a pension partner. And these three options are equal, reduced by a third, or 160. So the most popular option obviously is the equal option, which means that when the pensioner passes away, the spouse or partner receives the same amount of pension as the first till the day they pass away. Now, the important thing to understand is, is that it doesn't matter which order people pass away in. If you were to pass away, just as we said, your spouse would receive the income. However, if your partner or spouse pass away first, you will receive the second income, okay? This option has the highest amount of reduction because it has the highest amount of liability to pay over a long period of time. Reduced by a third and 160 are similar. However, the second survivor has the pension reduced by a third or reduced to 60%, but is the same idea. These pension payments are higher than this one. Now the last one, and the last one is, is not talked about a ton, but is what's called your commuted value. And what that is, is where you enter retirement or you essentially resign from your position and the value of your pension on that day is commuted. And what that means is, is you are taking it out of the pension plan and you are now managing it yourself, okay? Now, why would people do this option? There's a lot of reasons, and we can get into that a little bit later. But for example, people are doing this just simply for a little bit more flexibility in their retirement when it comes to managing their, their cash flow, okay? Second reason may be health, okay? There are unfortunate circumstances where health gets in the way of what people are trying to achieve, so they commute their pension to make sure that it uh, holds the most value for their family and estate, okay? So there is two options, but it is an option and you have to explore it to understand what all your options are so that you can know what the best one possibly is, okay? So now that we know what all of our options are, the numbers that we're working with, we can actually start to compare scenarios. And this is when I say we have to compare apples to apples. So 
what does that actually mean? It means that we're going to use the real income that is projected to you regardless of what option you are choosing. So um, in this case, we're going to explore a scenario that is very real and show you what the math works out to be in, in certain situations. So going through this exercise, um, we have um, this scenario and it's a very real client that has um, roughly 1.1 in value, $1.175 million in value. The projected income is $65,000 a year for life. If they were to retire on the, the earliest date that they can retire according to their 85 factor. Okay, however, the restriction is, is that this client wants to retire early by one year, okay? So this restriction would actually reduce this income down to 63,500, okay? With one of these options, okay? So that being said, to compare apples to apples, we have to use what's called a withdrawal rate, okay? And a withdrawal rate is essentially the percentage of your portfolio that you withdraw every year, okay? So if we were to use this 63,500 as a withdrawal rate, roughly what would it be, okay? It'd be roughly 5% or 5.5%, okay? So that means that in the first year, this person would withdraw 5.5% of this value in income, okay? So why is this important? This helps us project out how long money will last and a safe withdrawal rate that we can use um, for, a, for a very safe income when it comes to your portfolio. Now, over here, there's something to note. All throughout your career, your pension amount was invested. Okay, that's part of the job of the pension plan is to manage your portfolio or your pension over the course of your career to grow it to a point where it is sustainable. Okay, so using two examples of, of returns, the Alberta Teachers Retirement Fund average is 7%. Okay, another example from LAPP here in Alberta, theirs is slightly higher. Okay, let's say 7.5%, okay? So what that means is that over the course of your whole career, this is the average annual return that they achieved for you, okay? So the big question is this. If you were to receive this return on this amount of money and you're withdrawing this percentage withdrawal, would your money ever run out? The answer is no, okay? And this is why we need these numbers to actually compare apples to apples. <clears throat> but now, let's work through an exercise. If we were to reduce the return and add a margin of safety, because this is your pension, it does have to last till the day you pass away, regardless of what you do. If we were to reduce this to 2%, okay? How long would your money last? Okay. The money would run out, say, uh, mid-90s, 95 years old. Now, we said earlier, the average life expectancy of Canadians is 80 for men and 84 for women. So if you were completely average, how much money would be left at 84? At 2%, the answer is roughly $200,000. Okay. That's a significant amount of money if you pass away at the age of 84. Now, let's bump this up a little bit, say to 4%. Still very modest, right? How much money would be left at 84, right? Roughly 680,000, okay? Now you're starting to see 
the problem, okay? Now, regardless of what option you choose, this math is the same. Because even if you pass away at the age of, of 75, and your spouse passes away at the age of 84, like the average, this income is real. This is the real income that would be paid to you and your, and your pension partner or as a single, okay? So that's how we compare apples to apples to understand what the options actually mean. Now, this is where the real powerful stuff comes into play. And that is if we kick this rate of return back into your portfolio, okay? If you were to pass away at the age of 84 with this, running just as it is, you would have 1.9 million because you would actually increase your portfolio every year. Okay, So this is where people start to weigh this option a little heavier because this is a very powerful number. Your wealth can produce this. <clears throat> now, um, when you break it down as to why people do this, there's a couple different reasons. And one I said earlier is financial flexibility. Okay. So what this means is that when you have your portfolio running this way or your pension, this amount of money creates a lot of flexibility to take the, the type of income you need. So what people end up doing is they take more in the first 10 years of their retirement and they take less later. Now, why would they do this? This is because usually in the first 10 years of retirement or more, you have what's called your health and you have time. So you want to get the most out of it that you can. So what people end up doing is they take a little bit more and then later they take less. And this is the way it usually goes. When you're in your 80s and 90s, you don't use as much money because you're simply not doing as many things. Now, another reason is for people's values and what their goals are and what they want to achieve with their retirement and their essentially their lives. So most of our clients, it is very important to them what their estate looks like, okay? So when you follow this scenario, you are now having this amount of money to deal with with your estate. And that's important because most of our clients want to either help their children or their community with some form of legacy, okay? This option allows for that. But the most important part is this. With these options over here, you have a monthly income or an annual income, and that is guaranteed and it will never change till the day you pass away. Here, if there is a shock to the system, as in someone's health deteriorates. There is an, there is an issue with, with a child. Something happens in your life. You now have the flexibility to deal with it. In other words, if there's a year where you need to spend more money, you can, okay? And that's gonna allow you to, to, to deal with these shocks to the system, okay? But I think the most important part is this, and this is the part that we discuss with our clients. And we said earlier, if the math works out this way, and the average Canadian works till the age of 64, and the average Canadian lives to the age of 84, okay, that's a 20 year retirement, okay, if you're average. Now, if you're one of those people that live till you're 90 or 100, it doesn't matter because we secure this in a way 
that it will never run out, okay? But on the other end is this. Our goal is to have you retire by the age of 60 or earlier, just by simply showing you what your wealth can do. That's an extra four years of retirement for you and your family. That is very powerful stuff. And that is what is most important to people is time. So if we can get this done for you and show you a way that is going to lead to the same financial result earlier, that's our goal. So when our clients ask us for help, what are we looking to achieve together? Well, our clients often give us feedback mentioning that they're now clear on their pension and retirement options. They feel ready to retire with confidence that their wealth will provide them with everything that they need, including transfer to future generations. So with that in mind, who do we help? We help primarily two types of families. Those who work for large pension plans, including teachers, federal and provincial government employees, and people who work for companies like BMO, TD, Suncor, TransCanada Pipeline. We also work with those who are self-employed and responsible for administering their own retirement income, including consultants, doctors, or those with professional corporations, trade business owners. The common thing, though, among all of our clients is that they want to maximize their potential of their wealth by taking control. Now, from here, you have three options. You can try to work through this process yourself and put it all together. You can rely solely on your pension association to provide you with all the support you need. Or you can reach out and get help from specialists like us. If it sounds like we can help you, we encourage you to set up a call. There's no cost or obligation. We've already told you what we do, and if it makes sense for you and your family, we'll ask to work together. That's it. When you schedule a call, you'll always get to talk with me. Our calls usually last 45 minutes. However, if you need more, we have the time. Our goal of the call is to get a high-level look at where you are now and if we can help. So just to be clear, if we decide to work together, our services are not cheap or free. However, our clients express huge value in working with us. We do not work with those who do not see the value of advice, those who are looking for outrageous investment returns, those who are not willing to commit the time that working with us requires, and those who are just fine. So if you want to schedule a time to talk with us, just click the link below. We will ask some high-level information about you to be ready for the call. Just answer them as best you can. Then choose a time that works for you on our calendar. That's it. Just remember, there's no obligation throughout this process. We want you to feel comfortable working with us right away and that we're here to help. We also understand that not everyone is a great fit, and we will be completely honest with you if this doesn't make sense. So, thanks for signing up for our free retirement planning training and staying with us until the end. We look forward to speaking with you. Let's get you a playbook.